What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mel here. Another re trailer reaction, and so yeah, today, like I mentioned before, I'm doing a reaction on the trailer Renfield. I mentioned this yesterday while I was watching the the voyage of the of the Dementor, and just like I thought, it got copyrighted by Universal, and this was another Universal picture. Whoopie-doo. When it comes to animation, they don't copyright, but when it comes to live action, fuck you, we're copywriting. Yeah. So this is a... This is Renfield, and it stars Nicolas Cage as Dracula. Which is more, it's more focused on his henchman, Renfield, than the, the famed vampire himself. Which, I actually seen this movie. I actually liked it. It focuses more on on Renfield than the Count himself, describing how his relationship with his with his his famous boss, the Prince of Darkness. But before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, well then, you've been alive for almost eight years. You haven't changed a bit, and you're working for a a blood sucking, power hungry tyrant who doesn't get two shits about you. Another Tuesday, ain't it, huh? Let's go. So, yeah. Renfield was released back in April, and... There were rumors that when they were doing... When Nicholas Cage had his teeth, you know, his sharp teeth... People thought that he actually... He actually filed them down. Like... You remember the, uh, the movie Sleepy Hollow with the... With Christopher Nolan... As the Hessian with all those sharp teeth. I hope those were, he didn't actually file his own actual teeth. But the, imagine having other movies showing those fangs. Jesus. <laughs> Unfortunately, those were debunked. Those were actually false teeth. Ugh, imagine him doing another film with those sharp teeth. Jesus, fuck. He had to keep his mouth closed for a bit. Or fake teeth to hide those sharp fangs, sharp choppers. <laughs> but yeah, let's check out this trailer. I never seen this. I only seen the movie, so yeah, I'm always jumping ahead. So let's go. Yeah, Lord of Volume. Just in case the Universal starts to copyright shit. Oh boy. Oh God! <laughs> More likely. Boom. Huh? Nice. See? Look at the teeth. Oh! Oh, fuck. Hey, look, losers! That you don't see every day. You saw that? I'll explain that when this trail's over. Maybe. Oh, hey, box uh, to cut the fuge. Organ piece. Nice. In return, I tend to his needs, including care, feeding. You bring and people to eat. Fun fact that building you see there where the dragon is hiding is actually an abandoned prison, which is sealed off. It's still there to this day. How do they use it as a hospital? The fuck? Oh god. Oh, no. Some call me the dark one. Others the Lord of Death. To most I am the rock. <coughs> Woo! Okay, obviously we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. Well, you fucker. Now let's eat. 
First rule, never welcome Dracula in. He he cannot enter a house if he's not welcomed in. Stupid. Ugh. That's the first thing about vampires. But yeah. There's one scene I actually love. It's the opening with the beginning where Renfield talks about his past, where he actually tries to save his boss from a priest and a vampire hunter until he explains, okay, let's go way back, like, way back. They actually use scenes from the 1931 Bela Lugosi film of Dracula. Instead of a Lugosi, they inserted Nicolas Cage in the film, in the Lugosi part, along with Ren the guy who plays Renfield. Oh my god. From the opening sequence where he says, I am Dracula. To the walk in London. Perfect. It's like they actually did the scene, but no, they just took the scenes from the film and replaced with a ghost scene and rim and put Cage and the other guy in there. So, damn, that was good homage right there to the original 1931 film and connected to it now. <laughs> damn, that's a good move right there. And <clears throat> I like how you don't really see Dracula, so you only see Renfield doing like fetching his next meal. Okay, his blood bank. Because if you already seen the movie, I'll explain. Because in this scene where you see him get he's been trapped, been captured, one the vampire pulls the curtain. Yeah. Sunlight. That's Renfield managed to kill the guy. He has to put he put the fire out. And Dracula looks like he's been charred. How charred? Well extra crispy. So yeah, it took them like a, a long time to heal after their and their hide in New Orleans until we'll just say keep it a low profile because we're now dragging on a hunger pang, a hunger pang, hunger pang. Too much attention. Yeah, that's why he asked why we can't live a fancy life. Well, dumbass, you like the suck the blood of millions of people and leave evidence. What do you expect? <clears throat> and then it does for a century, so it began in the 30s until wait. Why the fuck you didn't do that during World War II? You don't know how many Nazis were, people lives will save against the German, against the Nazi party? Why just kill them by drinking their blood? Hmm. Oh, wait, you're still being hunted, ain't ya? Alright, I forgot. They moved to the UK. I guess they left the U to, for the US during the bombardment. Good guess, right? <laughs> but Nicholas Cage as Dracula is actually pretty cool. It's the teeth that caught me by surprise. The sharp teeth. It reminds me of Christopher... I don't... What's his name? Christopher Nolan? Christopher Watkins? The one who played the Hesha in Sleepy Hollow. During the flashback, you see him cho with the sh showing his sharp teeth. Similar to this. What Nick, I think Cage got inspired by that or what? I don't know in the book, but seriously, <clears throat> I like this film. <clears throat> and I don't know how much it made, but <clears throat> guess it was released around April. Whoo! Let's just say it had some competition with a certain Italian plumbers. Yahoo! Yeah. Let me check. Okay, Master Computer. How did this film do? But yeah, the film did good. Let me see. <sighs> Renfield. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, oh, it only had 58% in the Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, it's Nic Nicholas Holt plays Renfield. Okay. <sighs> Aquafina. Oh! Okay, now I recognize that officer. She voices Scuttlebutt in The Little Mermaid. Your part was good. But, due to the racist shitheads, okay, I might do a follow-up video of The Little Mermaid review, because after the film got tanked in China and South Korea, those racist shitheads are doing permanent damage to this film. Jesus. Fuck. But continue, this film made like had a budget of sixty-five million dollars. 
Wow. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Look at what they say. This is a Marvel film. Yeah, it's worth the watch. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hmm. How much it made in the in the box office? Let's see. Made like. Ugh, I hate what I had. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Ooh, fuck. Well, a budget of sixty-five million is, but but box office was twenty-five point six million. Oh boy, a video game. Really? Really? Let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Alongside. Oh yeah, it was released alongside the Pope's Exorcist, Mafia Mama, Sweetwater, and Sume. It made three point one million on its first day, including nine hundred thousand on Thursday night. It debuted 8.1, finishing fourth behind, fourth behind the Super Mario Bros. movie, The Pope's Exorcist, John Wick Chapter 4. Wow. Jesus fuck. I forgot about John Wick. <laughs> you got that and the Mario Bros. movie, no shit. No wonder John Wick, wait. Pope's Exorcist was above it? Damn, didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Let's see. Hmm, it says here Renfield received a nomination for Best Comedy Poster at the 2023 Golden Trailer Awards. Okay. Oh boy. But yeah, folks, I think I recommend this if you want to see this film. It's pretty good. And ignore the critics because, you know, they like the shit on it. Same with The Little Mermaid. And those are the critics. Those are the racist trolls. And they've been hacking the the rating system, giving it negative ratings. Ever since it got released. So I might be talking, doing a, you know, a dull back on the review in the future. Because I'm not the only one who meant caught this racist bullshit. There were others who caught it, like the critic from the Southern Critic, Animat from Electric Dragon. I don't know if my other colleagues from Steve Reviews and Saber Spark might notice, but hey, they haven't re released one yet. So yeah, I'll keep tabs. But yeah, of Renfield, I recommend it. It's like a fun one, but it's, I kind of like the duel of Nicholas Holt and a uh, Nicholas Cage as as Renfield and Dracula. And they actually filmed this in New Orleans, which is actually pretty cool. And fun fact, when I mentioned about the black and white, the film's black and white opening scenes recreate the events from Dracula, the nineteen thirty one Dracula. With Cage and Hulk respectively inserted in place of Bela Gossi and Dwight Fry, characters of Dracula and Renfield, compositing the actors into the old backgrounds. We're just erasing the original actors and putting Cage and Hulk in, with Helen Chandler and Edward Van Sloan appearing as Mina and Van Helsing in the archive footage. Zane Baker, Ryan Falls, and Giancarlo Ganziano serve as, as editors, so... To you three, nice job on doing those edits. Damn, I love it. <laughs> hmm. It still be... Oh, it's already released on Brule. I might buy... Hmm. I might stop buying at Walmart to buy that copy. Cool. And also on Peacock. Okay. But yeah, folks... Oh, it is the ninth. <laughs> I almost forgot. But yeah, folks, I think that'll be it for today. And if you have any other trailers you want me to react, anything from old to new, if it's a, a movie I see but I've never seen the trailer, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe because we're aiming at our goal of 1 million subscribers or at least 500k. 
and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our great content. We do reviews, gaming. Sometimes I do some music, but it takes a while. But hey, who ain't? But yeah, until then, have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great summer. If you're having a nice summer, that's awesome. Me, when you're taking your master's in the summer, well, mine's a trimester, so yeah. Hey, I'm getting my master's, so yeah, I'll be finishing by in November. Plus, I'll be visiting Florida in August, so yeah. I already mentioned that in my video of, of the Dementor one. Which the movie's releasing on my birthday, so hell yeah. But until then, have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Peace out. Ciao.